For congregation this evening, let's return to Matthew 27. And we continue at verse 57 and through the end of that chapter, verse 66. Surprising things to note here, things that we see in terms of God's providential care and direction over these events, which is indeed a primary reason why they are recorded in the way that they are in Matthew's accounting of things. So then, chapter 27, and at verse 57 through the end of the chapter. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb.